Huh. Of all the things Ruby has done just for the hell of it, I'm surprised that they're just now having a big Rocky-style training montage. Spoiler warning! This is a review for Ruby Volume 7 Episode 5. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you may want to before watching this review. This episode was honestly kinda meh. It was a lot of information, a lot of setup, and not a lot of things actually happening. I'm glad they handled it with a big montage. It sure beats skipping all that stuff, just like they did in previous volumes, but it still left a lot to be desired. When I heard Miles was excited for Thirsty Moms, I was expecting a lot more than a 5 second gag. That that's really this whole episode. Even when it slows down, it still feels like a montage. I guess that's okay for however long it ends up lasting within the context of a 3-4 to four hour volume. I like Team Funky showing up, I like that they were all training and that the training was far more substantial than anything in prior volumes. I like that we got more interaction with Winter and Weiss. I like that we got to see the Winter Maiden. But everything blows by so fast, none of these points are given the proper room to breathe. And two of the scenes that were given room to breathe weren't very good. I get they wanted to introduce Robin Hill, but why here? What was she hoping to accomplish? other than putting a target on her back. It gives me the same gut instinct that Forrest gave me. First impression is that she's a know-it-all brat who has no clue what is going on and is acting in complete ignorance in a way that could very well spell doom for all the people she claims to protect. Not only that, but if she really cared about Atlas opening its borders and getting rid of the embargo, then she wouldn't antagonize Atlas and put them in a position where they have to tighten up security even more. But Robin isn't the only idiot. I'm not gonna say much about Jacques until next episode, but he's putting a massive spotlight on himself he probably doesn't want if he's trying to cheat. I know Watts gives no shits and just wants the Discord, but you'd expect Jacques to be a little more careful when blatantly inciting riots. So yeah, this was another weaker episode that I hesitate to say was outright bad. It's still handling its themes well enough and isn't completely dropping the ball like Volume 5, but the cracks in the foundation are starting to form. Will it maintain itself or completely crumble? Only time will tell. Until then, I'm Mediocrity4, thanks for watching.